I'm sure you miss most, if not all of these browser-based design tools. But today, I'm gonna break them down for you so you can then bring them into your workflow and just level up your design game. It will make things run a lot smoother in your workflows. Mockups are essential when you're presenting your work, but most mockup tools are either clunky, outdated, or require way too much effort. Shots.so fixes that for digital mockups. Of course, it is browser based, which means it lets you create clean, high quality digital mockups in a matter of seconds. Now you can choose from different devices, so laptops, tablets, phones, even an Apple iWatch. And what's really, really cool is the customization. You can adjust the corner radius, so if you want rounded edges, you've got that just here. And if you want something sharper, that works too. And you can also tweak the backgrounds from solid colors to gradients or even upload your own images. There are shadow and reflection options to add depth. And once you're actually happy with the look, you can export it in super high resolution. No Photoshop needed, no complex templates, just quick, professional mockups that look incredible. So if you're working on case studies, maybe you're just designing something for dribble or presentation, this tool just makes a lot of sense to bring that modern, clean approach to that presentation. And Photoshop is great, but the monthly subscription, not so much so. If you need a serious image editing tool without the cost, PhotoP is the way to go. It's basically a kind of lighter version of Photoshop, but it runs on your browser and is completely free. What makes it so powerful is that it actually supports PSD files. And not just opening them up, you can fully edit layers, layer styles, masks, and everything you'd expect. It also works with Sketch, XD, Illustrator, even raw files. So you've got the pen tool, the selection tools, adjustment layers, and even blending modes, just as you would imagine to be in Photoshop. And because it's browser based, you can use it on any device. And if you ever need to make quick edits and don't have Photoshop installed, this tool is a lifesaver for designers. Look, I'm gonna keep it real for a second. The majority of designers do operate and work in a level of chaos to some extent. You know, there's sticky notes all over their studio, files scattered everywhere like a crime scene, one million tabs open in their browsers. And before they know it, they don't really know where anything is in their workflow or their studio. And that's where Notion comes into play. It's an all-in-one workspace where you can organize projects, track tasks, and manage everything in one place. You can set up workspaces for client briefs, mood boards, or even design system documentation. And the best part is how flexible Notion is. You can drag and drop images, checklists, embeds, and even link databases together. And one feature I love is the gallery view. So if you're working on multiple design projects, you can create a visual layout of everything so you can see your work at a glance. And if you're handling multiple clients or switching between projects constantly, Notion helps you stay organized without feeling like you're managing a spreadsheet. We're not data analysts here. And as amazing as Notion is, it's more of a workspace than a structured task manager. If you're looking for something that really hones in on project management, ClickUp is something you should be considering and looking into. It really does the job at keeping things organized and stress-free as a designer. Now ClickUp is basically Notion, but with built-in time tracking, task prioritization, and automation. You can set up different views, boards, calendars, and lists, whatever works best for your workflow. It's great for managing projects because you can break tasks down into subtasks, set deadlines, and even automate recurring tasks. And if you work with a team, ClickUp has way better collaboration tools than Notion does, to be honest. And if you're juggling multiple clients, deadlines, or just want a better way to manage your design workload, this is a solid upgrade. Okay, let's get real for a second. Getting client feedback can be hassle, but it should really be simple. But somehow it turns into a game of broken telephone. One person says, make the logo bigger. Another says, no, smaller. You have files floating everywhere, feedback lost in emails, and before you know it, you're drowning in revisions. Yeah, there's a better way. 
enter GoProof, the creative approval tool that actually makes sense. Instead of juggling PDFs, emails, and Slack messages, everything lives in one central dashboard. Clients and teams drop comments directly onto the design. So no more guessing what can you tweak this actually means. And if you've got multiple versions, no problem. Every change is tracked, so you always know which file is the right one. That means there's no more, did I send the v4 final 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 PDF? Or was it the actual final one? Oh, then here's the actual game changer. GoProof automatically detects URLs on your designs, so you don't end up publishing a broken link and an apology email to your client. And for my fellow designers, this thing integrates directly into Adobe InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. That means no extra logins, no exporting, you just send your proof straight from the software, which is pretty cool. Plus, if your team already uses Asana, Money.com, or Basecamp, GoProof plugs right into those things. So your whole workflow just levels up without switching tools. The bottom line is, if you're fed up of frustrated clients, messy approvals, and just wasting time, then GoProof is something you should be looking into. And you can try it out today via the link in the description box below, and you can get your designs approved without that extra chaos. It just makes getting feedback stress-free, easy, and fast. Typography can make or break a design, but let's be honest, pairing fonts is one of the hardest things to get right. That's why type.io is such a game changer. It takes all of the guesswork out of font selection by showing you real world font pairings used on actual websites. So instead of just throwing random fonts together like I know some people do, type.io analyzes well-designed sites and tells you exactly which fonts they're using, how to pair them, and what styles fit best. So if you've ever spent way too long testing font combinations, this will actually save you quite a bit of time. But here's where it gets even better, the lists section. This is where type.io really steps up the game. Instead of just browsing random font pairings, you can search specific styles, websites, or sections of websites, and so on. So if you do a lot of branding, maybe web design or UI work, this tool is a must have. You can skip the trial and error phases if you are just not there yet in terms of typography and just find font pairs that work with visual examples on your screen here and now. Now, if you're a freelancer, tracking time and getting paid properly is just as important as the design work itself. Paymo is an all-in-one tool that helps you manage your time, track your projects and handle invoicing without having to use five different design apps. So you can log hours for each project, either manually or with built-in time trackers. And if you're working on an hourly rate, this makes billing so much easier. There's also one-click invoicing, so once you finish a project, you can generate an invoice and send it straight to your client. And another cool feature is expense tracking. So if you're paying for software, stock assets, or any other business expenses, Paymo helps you keep track of it all, so you don't just get caught off guard later with many different expenses. So if you've ever accidentally lowballed yourself in terms of pricing because you just haven't kept track of things properly, this tool will solve that problem and many more when it comes to finances in the design world. But hey, if you want to learn about some other really helpful tools for graphic design, just click that video on screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.